Welcome to this, the first of two videos on how you can get yourself organised for university before you even set foot in the place. There's quite a lot you can do. This video is going to look at the practical things, the things that you need. The next video is going to look at the things that you organise. The first thing you're going to need is probably a laptop or a tablet. And make sure that you've got one that is going to be suitable for a range of needs. You're going to need a fairly large hard drive because over the, your time at university you will be doing quite a lot of work. The make sure you get several flash drives and preferably an external hard drive. Those are going to come in useful in labs. In computer labs you're going to need access to all the stuff that you've created, all the wonderful things that you've done. And don't make the mistake of thinking, oh well, I'll only need in the first year what I have in the first year and in the second year I can forget about what I had in the first year, I can just wipe it off. A degree is a degree and you'll be creating work all the way through. The next thing you're going to need is any specialist equipment that might be relevant to your specific course. So for example, if you were doing a course on art, you'd need art materials. If you were doing medicine, you need the medical equipment. Then you can organise the things that are the software side. There are several applications that you can get, most of which are free. So for example, you're going to need to be able to word process and possibly use spreadsheets, databases and create simple graphs. You could buy Microsoft Office, but that's expensive, even under a student licence that's expensive. But you can get LibreOffice for virtually any operating system for free. All the links to the software that I'm going to be talking about are going to come up both here as you've seen for LibreOffice and will also be available on the website at the link that you get at the top of the description here. The next piece of software is not obvious. I would highly recommend that you get yourself an Evernote account. Evernote is wonderful. Evernote is a note-taking software, but you can take notes on mobile phones, assuming you've got a smartphone, you can do it on your laptop, you can do it on a PC, you can do it on anything. And all those notes are saved in the cloud. So anywhere that you've got access to the internet, you've got access to all those notes. So it's excellent for taking notes in lectures. It's excellent for that bit of code that you need to keep just in case you want to do something similar next time. Or that technique that is really useful that's going to come up. Create an Evernote account and it's free. You can use it forever. Then you're going to need all sorts of other bits and pieces. So for example, get yourself mind mapping software. There are various kinds of mind mapping software and most of them are free. If you're using a smartphone for mind mapping, then I'd suggest you use Simple Mind. Simple Mind will cost you £2.99, I think, for the mobile professional version. And that mobile professional version will allow you to export your mind map to other devices. But a mind mapping piece of software lets you plan your coursework, lets you plan how you're going to get things done. And you can change your mind and move it around a lot. If you're not into mind mapping, there are some very good videos on YouTube that will explain all the detail. Make sure you get yourself a Gmail account. Gmail is excellent because of the email system, but also because you have access to Google Docs. Google Docs is a word processing package, and um, spreadsheet package for that matter, that works on the cloud. It's free, doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean that you have access to all the office facilities that you need. I would also suggest you get hold of Chrome browser. A lot of people use Internet Explorer merely because a lot of people use Internet Explorer. It is in fact out of date at the time of doing this video in 2013. And it is so out of date that it won't run some of the more modern types of site. I would suggest you get Chrome. Chrome has the facility for adding in all sorts of applications. And that makes 
uh, it a lot more useful. One of the applications that you can feed in is Evernote. And guess what? It's free. Since you're going to university, you're going to need to be able to get at other academic papers. And a good way of keeping track of those is by using Zotero. Zotero is an excellent uh, piece of software, again free for the time that you're at university at least. It's free and it allows you to keep track of various pieces of paper, internet sites that are useful, academic papers that are useful and so on. You may want to get yourself a Twitter account and you will certainly want to get onto LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the grown-ups version of Facebook. It's the professionals and that's where the professionals meet to club together with ideas, sort out jobs and so on. It is a good way to keep track of all your colleagues because as you go through life you'll find that this person is working in that area and you need some help there and that person is working in that area and you need some help there. Another good piece of software to make sure you've got in your arsenal before you go is Dropbox. Dropbox allows you to upload files. It's like having an offline storage system. Now there are various smartphone apps that would also be helpful. Evernote obviously. Get yourself a calculator and do make sure that you've got Simple Mind on your smartphone if you've got a smartphone. Yes, I know it costs $2.99, but I can assure you it will be money well spent. So this is the end of the first video. The second video will move on to all the practical bits you can do around these things.